Hey folks, Boda Bob here. Welcome back. So, in previous video, you saw me uh, splitting wood with my new log splitter, and uh, it is a Wolf Ridge Manufacturing 28 Pro. It is not the commercial um, grade, it's just the Pro model. It's the entry level at Wolf Ridge, but it's a very, very good machine split a lot more wood than I need to split but it's it's really good I like it a lot so let's take a look here some of my uh, signage what we got here Wolf Ridge decal this is the hydraulic tank huge tank um, hydraulic oil let's see at Wolf Ridge manufacturing your machine comes ready to use with all hydraulic systems filled with AW32 ISO32 hydraulic oil, this is a there is room for oil expansion. Do not fill tank completely full. Only fill to full cold line or about 150 degree mark on the sight glass. So what we have here. This sight glass has a um, thermometer in it so you can see how hot your oil is. Right now my oil temperature reads 80 degrees and it's at 150 degree fill mark. So right there, cold, full. Hydraulic filters should be replaced annually or every 100 hours of runtime. Use only filters designed for hydraulic systems at 10 micron filtration. Contact your servicing dealer or Wolf Ridge for the correct filter and application. Right here it tells you uh, this is a chief, a chief brand filter and the filter that comes with it, the break-in filter, is 226005. You'll never need that number because it tells you down here, use replacement filter part number 226011. That's the filter you need to order. 226011 is the filter you need to get when you're reordering. Hey, back over here on this. This is Dom's custom fabrication sticker and their phone number. Timberwolf log splitters, firewood, welding, aluminum, and steel. So he does a lot of different things, but uh, main, uh, I, I should say what his main job is. He says he calls himself custom fabrications, so I'm assuming that he primarily is a fabricator. Dom's custom fabrication. I have a strap wrench here. Probably didn't even need that. Ooh, that's look clean. Oh, crap. This is what you do. Oh, boy. I didn't know. It would run out like that. I had no idea it was going to come out like that, so I guess I'm going to have to go get some hydraulic fluid before I run this again. Let's see where it is on the dipstick. Oh, it, it went down quite a bit. So the sight class shows the level between 130 and 140 degrees cold. I'll get some uh, fluid, hydraulic oil, and fill it up to the... Uh, cold, full cold mark.
there you go now you'll know when you change your hydraulic fluid filter hydraulic oil filter on your Wolf Ridge manufacturing 28 Pro log splitter expect some spillage I'll just use that to wipe up my boots here a little bit lubricate that leather all right all right the uh, first time this log splitter was run I didn't um, operate it I uh, invited my 80 year old father who's now 81 to uh, come up and run it and uh, I think he enjoyed running it takes a little getting uh, accustomed to the uh, controls you know him and I both are accustomed to just having a uh, hydraulic splitter with one control where you hold it and the ram comes out and then you, you have a detent on the return and then the ram will go the whole way back and um, shut off the return valve when uh, it reaches the uh, end of the cylinder so um, <clears throat> but he uh, did a good job splitting it helped me split some wood and back in December there we go and that was a lot of fun um, splitting wood with my dad he split it and I fed the machine and then stacked it onto the firewood pile so um, I enjoyed that yeah this is an awesome machine I'm telling you folks I can split wood so much faster so much easier with the log lift um, it's made um, working with the uh, log splitter a whole lot better so let me just say thank you for watching hit that like button share this video hit subscribe so please subscribe to my channel I could use uh, a little more exposure and uh, I appreciate your uh, comments uh, so with that being said let's get on out of here wrap this up cheers stop record